So how can God forgive us our sins and yet remain faithful to his promise of being a just and faithful God? What's the answer? Well, the answer, of course, is at the cross where his own son died for our sins. In chapter 2, we read these words. My dear children, I write to you this, write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defence. Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only our sins, but also the sins of the whole world. You see, at the cross, Jesus endured the wrath of God, his Father, for our sins. He took on our sins upon himself that we might be free. The justice and punishment that we deserved was laid on him. How can we be sure today of forgiveness? We just need to look at the cross. There's full assurance there. You know, our sins haven't just been swept under the carpet. And one day they might be lifted up and they'll all be there, there still. No, God has done a complete job. He promised to wipe out that debt of sin and cleanse us. And he did it by the blood of Jesus. He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. How do we take hold of that promise today and in this week and in these coming days? Well, verse 9 gives us that answer. If we confess our sins, you see, we need to come daily, don't we, to God in prayer, confessing again the sins that we've committed during that day. And again, asking God to forgive us again and again. Let us readily confess to Jesus the sins we have committed. And take hold then of that wonderful promise that he will forgive us. And then let's, let's let go of those sins. You know, so often people carry their sins around on their backs, don't they? Even though we know God has forgiven us, we still carry some of those sins around with us. And Jesus says, God has forgotten them. He's forgiven you and he's forgotten them. So we should forget them too and trust that he has really saved us. God's wiped away all our sins and he'll never remember them again. Just as we close this morning, can I just say, if you've never asked God to forgive you your sins, why don't you do it today? Just come to him in a small prayer and just ask him to forgive you the sins that you've committed, even today. And ask him to take those sins in the name of Jesus and forgive you. Then you'll know peace forever. You know his love forever. You know the joy of following Jesus. May that be all our prayers today, that we might know Jesus more and more. Amen.